this my Korean wedding was a bit of a disaster, <laughs> to be honest. So like, we got, we got married in 2016, first in the UK during the summer, and like it went without any problems. It was kind of smooth, and then we came back and we're like, okay, we've got to get married in Korea too. So we didn't want to wait until the the next summer. We just kind of wanted to get it over, you know, over with. But you just want to get on with your life. Uh, so we're like, okay, let's get married in winter. Um, so we'll and figure out my parents will be able to come over and a couple of friends. So I was like, okay, right, I don't want to do the two hour. Like, if my fr friends and family are coming over, I don't want it just to be over and done with. Let's try and do something special, like find like something a bit more unique. So. We like look for like they call them house weddings here, which is a little bit like usually it lasts longer. It's like a four hour thing. And it's a bit similar to like the hotel wedding that Valentin was saying, like you eat in the same place and um just a bit more of a like um similar to a back home type of wedding. But like we went around looking at all these venues, like some of them are really nice, like beautiful, like kind of like um like garden style weddings and stuff and uh, the main thing was because it was going to be in January. Well, like okay, the most important thing is it's got to be warm. Like we've got to be somewhere where it's going to be like well insulated and stuff. So anyway, we found this one. Um, it was in Ita one, and it used to be the Philippines. Yeah, like they just like done it up as a wedding hall thing. So we got there, and I, I don't know. Is there a picture? I think I sent you of the actual place. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? I don't oh really oh, yes <laughs> okay i'll try and describe it then so you got like this old building and then the, what they did is they built this frame like a like a big greenhouse kind of thing like maybe <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> but yeah so they built this like you can imagine it's like a, a box like like a greenhouse like glass sides but it was it was like a like sheets and then a, like on a roof and we went in summertime and it was obviously it was red hot in summer so like it's no issue at all but at the time i seen all these gaps along the top and i was like okay so like if if we're gonna get married in winter like you know how are you gonna because you, you ask some questions like what like how are you gonna change this place so it's like ready for winter and they, the woman was like because they're like a salesperson oh here we go he's got the photo up now so you can all right oh, sorry Oh, yeah, you said rights on live. There we go. It, as you can see, like there's sheets along the sides, but you can't actually see the roof there. The roof was similar. It was also like a like a what's it called? But sheets. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the freaking transparent sheets or whatever. What's was it like? Flimsy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Flimsy. What do what do you call them? Like a yeah, like sheet. yeah, sheet in there. And then um, <laughs> so yeah, she promised like what between summertime and winter they had all these plans to do renovation and like everything was getting sealed up and there were, like all this spiel she was telling me yeah so anyway like great we thought yeah let's do it this is beautiful like let's just get married here anyway like two weeks before the wedding like my wife was working so i went there with my mother and mother and father-in-law i got there and i was literally nothing had changed <laughs> like this was like this must have been end of december it was already freezing cold and I was just like, you're actually joking me. There's like, gaps everywhere. And I'm like, you didn't do anything. Like, and, and like, they, but because in Korea, like, which was surprising to me, her parents weren't angry or anything. They were like very like, ah, you know, it'll be okay, Louis. But I was losing my mind. Like, and I, like my Korean is still bad, but it was even worse then. But I'm just like shouting in any Korean words I can say. I was fuming. Like, and they were just, they were like, don't worry, we're going to, we'll sort it out. And I was like, Oh, how are you going to do it in two weeks? Anyway, got to the wedding. Like, literally, as we were, we were like, because, you know, you were checking the weather forecast before. It was literally, the when we got to the wedding, day, it was the coldest day of that year. It was like minus 14 degrees, right, during the daytime. <laughs> so, like, at nighttime, it was like, I don't know, probably not going to minus 20, but this, during the daytime. And I got there, and honestly, the, 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 there was still huge gaps in it. The wind, it was. You know what it's like in Korea when it's cold. You get the north wind coming down from Siberia, so it's it's like a, it goes through your bones. Eh? Like, and this this we got there on the wedding day, and um, freezing cold. Like you can see in the photo here, like it is 
I thought so, you looked like that because you're younger, but I think it's that it was so cold your skin was just <laughs> yeah, frozen it was, tight. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I mean, it was. You can just see there. That's inside the wedding. That's not outside. That's inside the wedding building. And look at the steam coming out of our mouths. <laughs> right? They had like four heaters in. I just couldn't believe it. And anyway, we we had to be there for four hours. It wasn't like a, a two hour thing. So all these guests that came had to be there for a long time. They're freezing cold. And you know what I mean? You just feel awful. You're like, you like, you feel like you're punishing people. You know, you're supposed to be having a great day. Um, so yeah, it was it was so bad. And like at the altar where the wedding actually was, that was the coldest part. That was where the massive gaps were. So like we're giving our vows and stuff. And I'm literally physically shaking. <laughs> like physic so physically shaking. We give all juice to my wife. She she didn't even seem affected. She was just kind of like I was the biggest wimp. I was like shaking and like mumbling. Uh, you, you, you sure you want to see a picture of your wife being I'm being sure, being not affected? I'm sure. I'm sure the family was so. Okay. I'm sure so, the family. Was so, so that's the face of your wife not affected yeah. by the cold. Okay. I'm sure the family was so moved though. They probably looked at Lewis shaking, like, "Look at him, how adorable. He's right. so nervous. He's just shaking." This is cold. this is another kind of funny thing. Like, what well, at the beginning of a wedding, what you do is you you stand at at the fr the the. The bride stays in like a separate room so people go and visit her. So she was nice and warm in like some separate room upstairs. Whereas me, my dad and um, her, I mean, her parents were standing at the front and like welcoming everyone. So like we were like cold anyway, like we're using the hot packs and stuff. And anyway, like some random woman came to my dad and said, all right, you can go and sit down now at the front. So like I said earlier, the front bit was the coldest part. Like that, that was absolutely freezing. So he was sitting by himself at the front no one else came with him trigger trigger warning this is how lewis lost his father <laughs> no, 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 sorry, no this is my dad sorry oh, so, sorry sorry this is my they, they asked my dad to oh, go okay. there so my dad was just sitting by himself like well where we were a bit warm at the front and i mean for ages and he was just like he tells the story afterwards he's like why the hell like, literally he was like it was so cold he said he was just falling asleep and I don't. I didn't have a picture, but there's like a picture <laughs> I of him. He's just, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just by himself, and he still, yeah. he, like, he still laughs about it because it was just so unbelievable. Um, God, yeah. The story was full of practical uh, advice for Guillaume. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so don't, practical don't, advice: don't get married in winter, yeah. and make sure the place is not outdoors if right. it's going to be cold. But, yeah. These, so these are the. This is the thing. So like, after obviously it was a disaster, and like, and then. What we did was so we complained to the management and everything and we said like what the hell why didn't you do this you promised us all this stuff anyway she tr they tried to like give us like literally it was kittens back like a thousand dollars or something back but like my wife was like no no because if we take that money then you can't complain or anything so she she wrote like a lot of you can't in korea because of defamation laws you can't write bad reviews like you know you've got to be careful but she just wrote honest r reviews of the wedding and so she, they probably lost a lot of trade because of our honest wedding photos and reviews you know like but so what happened so we didn't take that but the very next day after the wedding they started the renovation but literally and then literally like a month or so later when it was finished there's all these you even like beautiful pictures of the place that i couldn't believe it the the cheek of them the very next day the assholes the oh man it was a disaster and like the final caveat as you would say like um I literally the, the the best way you want to go on your honeymoon was like literally we're sitting on the plane and my wife was so stressed she's just like crying on the plane like going on you know oh, we're going to, we're going to bali great honeymoon here and she was just like so like traumatized from everything because like her like family and someone someone had called her mom and said she'd got sick from the wedding because they're being so cold and things like that and my wife was just so stressed out it was it was a disaster the yeah, uh, get, get married in summer. Don't get married, get married in winter. Great headline for the video on YouTube. Quotes: My wedding was a disaster. <laughs> Does that bad story? <laughs> oh, honestly, it was like. But the thing is, like when we meet family and friends and stuff, they like they say our wedding was the most memorable. They never forget it. Whereas I think you always like forget Korean weddings, but yeah. ours is unforgettable. You, you forget good memories easier than uh, yeah, bad yeah, memories, yeah. So. But you can look. Like, but it's a story.